Listen up. Okay, what if you could take a dress and you could wear it six different ways? Does that seem too good to be true? I think it might be. Well, Lisa discovered this dress recently, um, and she had a guest in to sit down and talk about it. Take a look. Closet, trying to figure out how to put something new together. If I had a dime for every time that happens, sometimes <laughs> it just takes a little boost of imagination. Designer and blogger Lisa Leonard is going to show us how to wear the same dress seven different ways. Yes. So we're going to get seven different looks out of one dress. And the one thing you said is it needs to be a basic dress. Just so a basic dress. What are dress. you starting with? Yeah, I started with a basic black dress. And I mean, today I'm just wearing a black skirt and top. I'm really into basics, like jeans and a t-shirt. You can accessorize it so many different ways. Mm -hmm. And if you're taking a trip, it's great. Just pack some simple things and then pack the accessories, which are so much smaller. And, packing and mix a, it up. Packing a carry-on is yeah. so much better so than much easier, you know, checking your baggage and everything. Okay, so, Absolutely. so let's start with our first okay. look. Okay, so this is the black dress. It kind of hits below the knee, but above the ankle, and I like that length. It's really versatile. Cardigans, the scarf. This is a brightly colored scarf, so it really adds a, a pop. Yeah. And, um, and I, the cowboy boots. The boots are fun. I think boots and a skirt are adorable. I do, I too. Love it. Even in the summer, like in the evening, why not? You yeah, know? why not? And then when you add the cardigan and the scarf, it does kind of take it into right. fall. Right, it really, really moves a different look. direction. Okay, let's see, um, let's see the second look. Okay, so this is a cardigan almost really covering the top, and the stripes are fun. And then I mixed it with a different pattern shoe. Can you see there's a leopard print heel? I love it. Courtney would tell you that leopard print is a neutral. Yes, that I totally are neutrals. agree. <laughs> leopard print is a neutral, and it goes with everything. Very so, cute. And yeah. that's just like you throw that together, go to the grocery store, go yeah. run your errands. Yeah. And then you're layering, too. So right. if you, you get, get hot, hot you take, take it, it off. off. Yes. Okay. And it doesn't require a lot of thought. When you have a dress you love, then it just becomes like, okay, just grab something and add some accessories and go. Right. Okay. So look number three. I love this. That was one of my favorites. And I think the white classic button-up shirt goes with so much. And a denim jacket, like you said, layer it on. And if it gets too warm, take it off. And why not a red shoe? A pop you know? of colors. Exactly. It, it really lady. makes it fun. And the chunky jewelry. Mm -hmm. Jewelry is, is really going to make it feel unique and fresh every time you wear it. So cute. Okay, what's our next look? Are we going to pull that up? There it is. So I'm really into too. denim jackets. And I love, I have a girlfriend that wears denim jackets with almost everything and she always makes it look fresh and cute. You're yeah, wearing one I'm wearing, today. I know, it looks they're so, so cute. easy. Is there um, a secret to finding the best denim jacket? Well, I think the best denim jackets are worn in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think you have to wear it a lot. If you can find one, like a vintage one at a thrift store or a good shop. That's what she uh, did, yes. Yes, they're just like kind of like your blankie that you keep with you all the uh -huh. time. And then you want one that's not like too oversized. Or right, too big. it you should it really be fitted on fitted. the shoulders. Right. Right. Yeah, the shoulders need to be fitted, and that's going to feel so cute. Feel Such good. a great layering piece. So, um, oh yes, this actually this sweater is one of my favorite sweaters that I just wear when I really want to be cozy, and a brightly colored scarf. And then this look had boots as well, which just is just easy. It's Little just booties, comfortable. So cute. Again, with the layering, you mm -hmm. take it off if you get hot. Right. Um, okay. Do we have one more look? So I think pink and stripes really. You're just. People aren't even going to notice the dress. They're really going to notice the color, the patterns, and so that's where the dress just blends into the background and it feels fresh every day. Here's what I love that you did here, though, is um, you put a full sweater over it. Not a yeah. cardigan, but a full sweater. And I think we forget that your dress can look like a skirt right. if you just cover up the top right. completely. Think of it as a two-piece, you know, even though right. it's one. Right. It really can work both ways. And I've seen people take a dress and actually layer a skirt over it. So then you're only using the top of a dress. Oh, so wow. really, you can think of a dress as separates. Oh my gosh, the right I love pieces. these ideas. Yeah. It's so creative and then you don't have to have your closet jammed with things. Yeah, and simplify. Yes, simplify and don't be afraid of accessorizing, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. Okay, you can check out our website at dthebroadcast.tv for more details on Lisa's design. She makes fantastic jewelry and she has lots of great ideas on her website. Just click on today's links and we have more broadcast coming up next.